Hey, what's going on everybody? It's been a minute since I made a video and today we've got something really cool happening. We're actually going to be putting my C6 back onto the dyno. I covered it in, a, in another video a while back, but basically this is my C6. It has an LSX 376B15 swap that I completed a little while ago. It is pro-charged and currently it is on pump gas and today we're actually going to be testing a few different things on the dyno. Number one, we're going to see and get a baseline on what it makes on 15 pounds of boost on pump gas, 91 octane, because here in Idaho, we do not have 93. Secondly, we're going to add some octanium VP racing octane booster and see if we can add any more timing, optimize it as much as we can. And then finally, we are going to be doing C85 VP, uh, basically their version of E85, and we're going to see exactly how much power it makes on 91 octane optimized, 91 octane with the octanium booster additive, and optimize C85 and see how much power we can make on ethanol. And this is the best thing, one of my favorite parts of the car is this flex fuel sensor. So once we get it all dialed in with pump gas and the ethanol, the car will automatically adjust the tune via this sensor, which reads on the return line, and it basically reads how much ethanol is in the fuel, and adjust timing and the fuel tables to match it, which is really cool. So you never ever have to worry about, do I have enough ethanol? My car was tuned on E70, but now I've got E80. I'm gonna have to adjust the tune. Once you get it dialed in, it's done and it automatically adjusts. So that's something really cool that I did with the car uh, not that long ago. So I'm just gonna toss it right to the dyno. Let's see how everything does and get to it. to add this. This is a VP Racing Octanium. We're testing it and we're testing it for them and basically they advertise you know up to seven seven point gain so since I got 91 octane uh, if we put enough of it in it would go all the way up to 98 technically. Uh, I think I have a little more than 10 gallons so we're probably not going to see that much but it'll be interesting to see pump gas optimized versus pump gas with this octanium optimized. I'm really curious to see what it does. So dump it in and tune it up and add some timing, add some fuel and see what we got. So that was really interesting, check this out. On that last pass, on just pump gas, there was just, just a hair, just a hair of knock. Like nothing dangerous, not gonna blow anything up. But the octanium added in, without any timing or fuel changes, got rid of that little bit of knock, and we picked up hmm, roughly more than 10. Uh, you know, we picked up almost, I think we picked up almost 10 torque, and then we picked up a little more than 10 on horsepower. I think we picked up 11 almost. So now we're gonna add timing, you know, maybe a degree, half a degree, see if it helps. But I mean, it got rid of the knock, so that's winning in my book. Okay, now that is really interesting. So we added a degree of timing, and it just has the octanium additive from VP on uh, 91 octane. And we picked up another 11 horsepower and almost the same in torque again. 
so that is very interesting. So we've picked up a, a total of about 20 horsepower with Octanium optimized. We let it cool all the way down. And there's a little bit of a lull. I don't know if there's any left, but 20 horsepower for adding one container. So if you have like trouble finding race fuel or something, or you're in a bind and you, that's all you can get, works. It works solid. <laughs> so this is wild to me but we haven't seen any knock no knock of any kind just making fuel adjustments and each pull we add probably about a degree of timing right yep and before on the very last pump gas pull there was just a hair right just a hair of knock so it eliminated that instantly and we keep and you keep adding timing each pull we add about a degree and it just keeps gaining horsepower and when you think about it if it's what vp advertises which about 10 gallons which is about what was in the tank roughly about 10 gallons it should pick up seven numbers so it should technically be 98 octane and we keep adding timing and it keeps picking up power and it's happy with it and our latest pull so far it picked up a bunch uh, at the top 784.9 so 785 and then torque, um, it didn't pay up quite as much on torque, but still, like that is, that's crazy to me. Like that is the best deal of thing I've ever heard of on fuel because if you don't want to buy race gas and if you don't have ethanol, this is great. Like this stuff is nuts. I am very impressed, like crazy impressed because this thing, I think they're like 20 bucks retail for this thing. So something else we're trying for VP is their, uh, this cool down additive they had for the cooling system. I have to add it in slowly because I mean my cooling system was full so it took about I got about half of it in there before it started overflowing. We're gonna circulate a little bit maybe take a little bit of cooling out and add the rest of this and see if it uh see if it helps. The octanium helped clearly like no doubt about it and see if this stuff helps. bananas I cannot even wrap my head around this check it out so added another degree and we're almost 800 horsepower and we're almost we're getting closer to 900 on torque and this is this is still the octanium look it's even on the name we're I can't <laughs> that's the best deal this seriously that is this stuff that is the best deal on fuel that I can even remotely fathom. From Summit, it's like 20 bucks for that container. And we have picked up dang near 50 horsepower. And I think we've picked up almost that in torque. Like that is just, I, I don't have any words. I'm super impressed. Well done VP. That is like crazy good. I'm. I'm definitely going to use this stuff when I'm in a bind, because, yeah, but just add another degree, let's see what it does. <laughs> This is just, I cannot handle these kind of results. I, this is bananas. Let me turn this fan off. This is crazy. This is just freaking crazy, dude. So we, we crested 800 by a pretty good margin, horsepower, and we're 
right there at 900 on torque. And we're still on 91 octane with one container of octanium, one 32 ounce container. This is this is crazy. I'm. I think we're gonna. I think we're done. I think that's it. I think that's all. I think that's all we got for the octanium, because it, it will, we can leave it where it is. It'll be super safe, and we picked up a ton of power from no, from 91 octane completely maxed to 91 octane plus octanium. I mean, dude, those those are those are big numbers. If we had picked up half. If we had picked up half of what we've picked up so far with Octanium, I would be like insanely stoked. I don't even know. Yeah, I don't have words for that. The numbers speak for themselves. That's crazy. That is just bananas. So next, I think, I think I don't know. I don't know if we add more or not because <laughs> it just keeps going up. And at this, at this point, at this point, we're not gonna have much to gain with ethanol because we picked up so much with just Octane Booster. I mean, heck. We ended at 747 wheel horsepower, and we're at 810. So we picked up more than we picked up 63 horsepower on Octane Booster to the tire. And torque, we picked up 75. <laughs> I genuine, I genuinely did not think that Octane Booster would make that big of a difference, but holy crap, dude, it's. Uh, mm, yep. Yeah, that's that's crazy. It's madness. This is something else super interesting as well that I really like. We have been starting the poles on the car at 175 degrees. We let it cool down for 10 minutes in between each pole, and we start the pole consistently at 175 degrees. When we were running it without the cool down, we'd end the pole 182 degrees roughly. And every pole, it circulates more. It actually cools it more and more. At the end of that last pole, it was 177 degrees. And we start at 175. So from the beginning of the pole to the end of the pole, it only went up two degrees. This stuff is working. This cool down is helping. And if you know anything about Corvettes, you know that they love to run hot. Especially when you add a giant intercooler that's basically taking all the air and converting it into cooler intake air temperatures, but it's blocking a lot of the airflow to the radiator, AC condenser, etc. So that cool down stuff is also a super great little additive to put into your cooling system because so far it's made a five degree difference. And we're, like I said, we're starting each and every pole at 175 degree coolant temp. It's pretty rocking. So now that we have our peak numbers on octanium, we're draining the fuel. Uh, it's nice with the aeromotive system, you can just kick the key on and flip a switch and it'll put the pump to full speed and it's draining pretty quickly out. So we're just draining the fuel out and then we're gonna go ahead and put the contents of that drum, C85, which is VP Racing's E85, one of them. And then we're gonna see how much power it makes on C85. But I'll actually be really interested to see what it makes because that octanium picked up so much, but yeah. So now we're going in with the C85. I have my homemade pump. It's a factory Honda fuel pump <laughs> with a bunch of hoses attached to it so that it reaches, but it works. Hopefully, I haven't used it in a couple of years. Hopefully it works. legitimate really good gain from the octanium because with the octanium we were at 810 horsepower and we were at like 899 torque so we picked up a good chunk with the very very first pull on c85 so that's that's great that's exactly what i was hoping i was just worried 
that the Octanium did so well that we were going to see <laughs> not much gain on C85, but it picked up a bunch. So look at the data, see what we saw, see where timing's at, and then hit the next pull. So where were we at on timing and fuel and everything on that last pass? So on that last pass, um, timing was about 20 degrees right on top. Um, about the whole way, we were 22 to 20 degrees. Okay. Fuel, a little bit lean. Uh, we're working off of lambda for our value. We're going for commanded lambda of 0.8, which is about 11.7 standard gasoline AFR. Um, that pull was actually closer to about 0.85, so it needs a little bit of fuel put in there. Okay, but pretty pretty close, and for the first pull, it definitely picked up about, it, what did we figure, it picked up 40 horsepower and 40 torque? Yeah, just about, yep. So, nice big jump for ethanol, and now, we just gotta get the fuel and everything dialed in and maybe a little more timing. I don't know though, that's 20 degrees is, 20 degrees is a chunk. All right, so we're just getting ready to do the last pull on C85 in the tank. It's been a great day. We've learned, I've learned a lot of stuff. Hopefully you guys have too. Let's see what she makes on this last pull. So those are your final numbers. The very last pole was within a couple numbers here and here. Um, so we just reverted back. We figured we were pretty much to the max on everything anyway. We just wanted to clean up fuel and uh, timing a little bit. So here are your final results from this. This Octanium, it, this is bad. This is some badass shit. <laughs> I was super impressed. I really do believe we picked up the seven numbers. Like I think it went from 91 to 98 because there's no other way that we could pick up that kind of power and put that much timing without any kind of knock, especially forced induction on 91 octane. Uh, this cool down, it, it cooled down at the end of the pole, we were seeing about five degrees cooler, so this stuff was actually super solid too. And then last, uh, we picked up a chunk with this C85. We went from, I think around 910 up to that 966 on torque, or no, it was 899. It was 899 peak torque well, with the octanium, and so we picked up almost 70 on torque, and then we picked up uh, about 50 on peak horsepower. So all in all, I've been impressed today because we made a lot of power on what I would normally consider snake oil. Because <laughs> octane boosters, it's like, really? Is that gonna, and it made a huge difference, mass. Like, and I'm not being paid by VP to say this, okay? <laughs> so this is legitimate results. Same day, same car, same everything. And the CD5 is, great it's actually a, it's actually a bit better than normal e85 you get from the pump a lot more consistent too um so yeah make sure to check uh, i'm gonna put in the link i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put a link to the other video where we dynoed this car before uh on just pump gas basically where we kind of figured it all out and got the base tune and then stay tuned we're gonna be taking this thing to the track we're gonna be possibly swapping blowers maxing out fuel system and dealing with all that nightmare so just make sure to stay tuned and be prepared for lots of horsepower.